Welcome to First Time Studios. I'm gonna show you how to change the three-way switch on a Les Paul. Uh, to do this, you'll need a soldering iron, uh, some solder, a replacement three-way switch, um, and maybe some pliers to remove the, uh, the nut on the switch or to tighten it. Right, so if we look at the switch, so we're looking at the base of the switch, we've got the single lug on the left and the, all the other lugs on the right. This one, the single lug, on a Gibson Les Paul, that's a black cable that goes to your output. Uh, now on an Epiphone, it's not always the same color cable, so you might have to trace that. It's harder to trace the cable on a Gibson because sometimes it's got a PCB and you can't really tell where the cables are going unless you know what you're looking for. But just know that this should go to the output. Now on the other side, you've got loads of lugs, Top and bottom one go to your neck and bridge volume pots. So top one in general goes to your neck and that's normally a red cable on a Gibson Les Paul. On my Epiphone, I don't know what color it is but I'm pretty sure it's not red. And the other one, the bottom one, that's a white cable and that goes to your bridge. And there's these two in the middle that are touching. And on a Gibson Les Paul, that's a green cable and that goes to your ground. So with all the other ground stuff on my Epiphone, I don't know what colour it is, we'll find out, but I'm just going to keep a note of what cable came off where and going to replace this switch. So yeah, what you've got to do is get a screwdriver with a Phillips 2 bit and unscrew the cavity so you can get to the switch. All that's left to do is just check that it works, so plug it in. And in the up position is rhythm, so. And down position should be lead. Just check middle position works as well. Fantastic. See, so yeah, it doesn't take long, maybe five, 10 minutes. Um, job done, hope that helps. Please like and subscribe.